Oh, good morning to you. I hope you all have a great day. Yesterday was uh, quite interesting. I'm looking for tires to go on the 07 GMC Sierra. So we go shopping yesterday. There's a bunch of running around we had to do. We wanted to go by the fire department and support, support one of our local fire departments. They had a uh, pancake breakfast thing that they, that they do every year. So we went by to support them, and then uh, we did some shopping. Um, one of the TVs that we bought a couple years ago is already starting to freeze up and having all kinds of problems and stuff like that. So we're having to get rid of the TV already. And now TVs are disposable. That same TV that used to, it was like $300, $350 two and a half, three years ago is now $99.99 regular price. <laughs> Uh, we we bought the same TV for two hundred two hundred fifty dollars less than what we bought it for uh, two and a half years ago. Um, so we went, went and picked that up, and then we went to Costco, and I I told my old lady, I said, hey, we have uh, you got those tires on that those Bridgestones on that truck? They're they're dry rotted. They're they've been falling apart for some time, and I could see where one of the belt lines looks like. It's kind of shifted a little bit. That one tire looks kind of funky, and I can, I can feel every once in a while there's kind of a shimmy to that tire, like it almost wants to kick that back corner a little bit, depending on the right turn or the right bump. Something's wrong with that tire. I can tell something's wrong with that tire. Every once in a while you get a little sound out of it too, where it almost feels like the belt kind of shifts back and forth. It'll give you a whoa, whoa, whoa. So we need to put new tires on this truck. So let's go to Costco. So we go to Costco thinking that, you know, we'll get the $150 off for being Costco members and this and that. Like Costco, they want you to go buy their stuff so they, they give you better deals than everybody else. And I was like, let's go there. So I go there and I, I have a guy look up a 245-7017 for a, she's a GMC Sierra SLE. And I need to, I need to get some better tires on her for him because I don't want them to be unsafe and stuff during the winter. And... I'm looking at the tires that they have, and the guy says, we don't have any cheap tires for this. Actually, we used to have, you know, seven or eight different types of tires that would fit this truck. It shows in the computer, discontinued, 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 not available, discontinued. And then he's like, we have two tires that we can get within a couple of days, and then we'll have to reschedule you to come back in. And one of them is a Michelin something. It's not even like that new cross-country style cross track or cross country or whatever it is uh it's 245 a tire and then the other one is 215 a tire and i was like what that's all you have available for this i don't even like either one of those tires that they were showing me and they said yeah that's, that's all we have unfortunately everything else is discontinued so we don't even have options for this truck anymore and i said you know what man uh, uh what what is it total with the Michelin's, the 245 ones, the nicer ones that you have. And he said, oh, 1100 and some odd dollars for four. And then with your discount, it comes out to a thousand, thousand some odd dollars. And I, I said, you know what? No, I'll pass. I can get those tires cheaper through the dealership. We have customers that come here all the time. Uh, one of my Super Duty guys that recently came here, priced his tires out on discount tires. He said it was like $1,300 for his tires, but here through the dealership for his expensive ones that he likes to run on his truck, it was almost $300 cheaper to go through the dealership. And then I'm looking at their prices and I'm like, dude, I can get the same set of tires that I just seen for this truck at the dealership for like $500 cheaper than what you guys are selling it for. And then it might even be cheaper than that because employee pricing, I, what what is this? Since when can't you go to a surplus or a discount store, a warehouse type store and get better deals than, than going to the dealership? Everybody always touts all the time about going to the dealership. It's going to be more expensive. Why would you get your stuff from the dealership? Even with the new pricing matrix and inflation and everything else, I'm finding that that's not the case. I ordered a windshield wiper motor for the town car. And I was looking online. It was $275 for the windshield wiper motor. I got it for $140 to the dealership. And that was at a, a surplus, uh, um, what do you call it, like a, a high volume online Ford store. And it was $140 here versus $270 or whatever it was, $250 on the internet. I was like, this is absolutely crazy. And it's an OE part that I'm getting from the dealership. And then I started looking at tires for my 
my uh, winter tires for the Mercury if I ever get it back. If they ever, if State Farm and the body shop ever stop fighting with each other about how they're going to come to terms with prices and everything else. I mean, it's getting ridiculous. I've been waiting for my car for three months. And State Farm won't agree with the body shop on the prices. And the body shop doesn't agree with how cheap State Farm wants to go to fix the car. So the car's been sitting there forever and accruing all these storage fees. And when it's, it's another fiasco. Um, but I found that even like the ignition coils, the spark plugs, all these other things that I'm looking at. The water pumps, the serpentine belt and stuff like that. The general maintenance stuff that I normally would find that used to be cheaper online. Rock Auto and all these... I'd be in the same price, if not cheaper, at the dealership. So I said, you know, I'll pass. I don't want the tires. I don't want none of that stuff. So I, you know what? Ended up ordering a set of Blizzax, Bridgestone Blizzax, which I've had absolutely phenomenal use year-round, even though they, they say it's a winter tire. I've been running the Blizzax on this town car since Nathan left, which was a while ago. It, they almost showed no wear at all, even during the summer and stuff like that. Nice traction, a little bit reduced mileage. Uh, the winter time are phenomenal on this car, so I ordered a set of Blizzax for her truck for $5.99. And I'll install them myself. I'm thinking to myself, what the hell is going on, man? What is going on anymore? It is absolutely insane the, the, the way the inflation and the prices and everything else is going on. And none of it is consistent across the board. Now, going to the dealership, seems to be the best bet to get the parts uh the other day i was looking at uh where a lady came in with a 2015 f-150 and she had got her tires replaced at discount tire uh, about a month and a half ago and she said since like the day of or the day after she got her tires replaced she said i'm getting this tapping like chirping sound coming from my tires and it's like a rotational thing it's not like something's wrong with a truck it's like something's rotating with a tire and i tried to get back in there and they scheduled me an appointment out where it wasn't convenient to me and then i tried to reschedule again and i had a lot of stuff going on and now that i'm free and i don't have a lot of stuff going on they can't get me in for another week so i just came to the dealer i went and took the truck for a drive and i'm, I'm driving the truck and i'm like that is freaking weird man it sounds like one of these tires something's wrong with it so I get the tires, I get the truck up in the air, and she says, while you're at it, can you take those ugly aftermarket lug nuts off? I, I don't want those those special socket, you know, solid one piece. I want the original equipment lug nuts back on it. And if I got to replace them again a few years from now because they swell, I'm fine with it. That's the reason why they replaced it to begin with. But I can't stand those long splined lug nuts on my truck. They just don't look right. And I want the OE lug nuts back on there. So okay, let me see... If I go back there and get a set. Mind you, I found out what was wrong with the tire. It was the left rear tire where they had pounded the weight on the inside of the rim. They had mushroomed the, the clamp that goes around and clips onto the rim. They had opened it up too much. So as the tire is going down the road, it's slipping back and forth on that rim, just barely able to catch. And it's rubbing and it's tapping the rim and squeaking on the tire at the same time. So I pulled it all down, re-road forced it, balanced it. Put, a, put the right weight on there, and it quit doing it. And uh, I went, went back to parts, and I said, uh, she wants a set of OE lug nuts. This is going to be freaking expensive, man, because what do we got? Uh, 25 lug nuts? I think it's 20, either 25, uh, 6, 12, 18, 24. So 24. 24 lug nuts at $657 a piece like it used to be. So when they looked it up in the computer, they said, no, Ford dropped all their prices on their lug nuts. Even with the dealership markup, it's only like a dollar fifty to two dollars a lug nut now. So you're like saving four dollars plus a lug nut now, even with the markup. And depending on the dealership and their markup, you might even be able to get as low as a dollar fifty, because I think the dealership pays somewhere around a dollar for it. They got to make some money on it. It's it's a, it's a business. Fifty cents to a dollar, you're saving four 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 dollars and fifty cents, five dollars a lug nut now compared to before. You used to pay six six to seven bucks a lug nut. And I was like, what the hell? So now even lug nuts have dropped price. And the, our parts guy said, you know why? Because Ford probably caught on to all the aftermarket stuff that people were doing. And a lot of their sales dropped in certain areas. So they had to lower the price to tailor uh, a more uh, 
beneficial price to the consumer so they'd start buying their OE products again. So I was able to get all the lug nuts all the way around in this lady's vehicle changed. I think it was like 60 bucks versus what would have been close to $200 or something before. Um, and it, this, I was, I was floored by, wow, all the OE prices and, and a lot of the prices from the dealership have just dropped like crazy. So when you go to get your, your maintenance stuff and your, your auto parts from your dealer, it seems to be like the dealer is now becoming way more affordable than ordering a lot of the stuff online or going to like the discount stores and stuff like that. I think I'm just going to have to start shopping more at the dealer than anywhere else. And I would encourage other people to possibly look to do the same thing. Just do your research. Find out. Because I'm finding that all the local Ford dealers in the area, when I need parts, if mine doesn't have it and somebody else does, they're selling it way cheaper than any place I can find it online now. Food for thought. A little bit of a story. Wanted to say good morning to you guys. Check out your local dealers. See if you can start creating a, a, a business uh, relationship with them. And when they see you enough, they might even hook you up even more. And you may not pay even the, the dealer uh, markup price. Um, who knows? You may make friends with them. And they, when they see that reoccurring relationship, they're more apt to help you in, in tough situations or situations where you'd like to get the price a little lower. They'll work with you. They will. Y'all be blessed. Take care. Have a great day. Let me know your thoughts on this. Are you experiencing the same thing? Y'all take care. Be blessed.